Yo guys, it's your boy Shig here today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best Streamlabs OBS settings for recording and streaming 2020 for Fortnite, Minecraft, whatever game you play. But now the first thing you want to do is actually run Streamlabs as an administrator. This prioritizes it over everything. So that way your video won't skip any frames or be choppy or anything like that. Okay, and I'm going to show you some more optimizations that you can do to really just get, you know, the best um, Streamlab settings. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys mine and you can copy them and work from there. So, or for the first thing we want to do is go to video actually. And your base canvas, just put both of those at 1920 by 1080. You're going to want to, you're going to want to stream on those, both of those. Unless you're on Twitch, then you want to put your output on 1280 by 720. But if you're on YouTube or well, I was going to say mixer, but rip mixer, any other streaming platform, you're going to want to use 1920 by 1080. It looks the best and it's just better. And then you want to use common FPS values and then put that at 60 because if you're live streaming, you're probably going to want to do it at 60, especially if it's video games. But if it's like chatting, you can do 30, but 60 for gaming. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you want to go to output. You want to set your mode to advanced. Your audio track you want to put at 1. Now your encoder, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, use this one. Unless your CPU is god tier, hardware NVEC encoder is going to be better than it like 9 times out of 10. So I'd recommend using that. It's really, really good because I have an RTX card. So it like it basically doesn't take a hit on my frames at all. So this is going to make you like not lag while streaming and recording. It works perfectly for me. So yeah, I use the hardware encoder. So don't check that box and then for rate control you want to use cbr which is a which is a, a custom bit rate or control bit rate um and now this is where it comes down to your internet speed okay so you want to go to speedtest.net and i'll link it in the description i'm not going to show mine just because it has my ip but just go to speedtest.net on your web browser and then what you want to do if your upload speed let's say you have a 12 upload speed then your bit rate would for example be 12,000. but don't put your bitrate over 9,000 because YouTube can only go up to 9,000. So my upload speed is 11, so I could use 11,000, but I put it at 8,000. I could do 9,000, but for me, 8,000 works perfectly. So play around with that. You do need to check your speed test though, because if you have a like four upload speed and you, you are using 8,000 bitrate, your stream is gonna like die. So if you have a four upload speed, then use like 4,000. So make sure you do check that before you copy my bitrate. This is the most important setting in here for quality and getting you the best quality so for keyframe interval i have that at two for my preset i have it on max quality so i'll get the best quality stream that there is profile high it makes it use more of your cpu and stuff and just use your hardware to its best potential and then max b frames leave that at two and check psycho visual tuning and then gpu i just left that at zero so those are the best streaming settings you're literally gonna stream like a legend after you have this now for recording um what I do is I just use NVEC. I don't use OBS to record, but these are really, really, really good settings if you do record. So I use hardware encoder again, and I do use a different um, like settings that I do for streaming because I don't want to use 8,000 bitrate for recording because I could go way higher than that. So MP4 is going to be the best format for editing and whatnot, especially if you use Sony Vegas or just any, just use MP4. And then uh, rate control, I use uh, CBR. And then put your bitrate. I use 30,000, which looks super crisp. This doesn't depend on internet speed. You can put this up as high as you want, but 30,000 is good for me. If you have a lower end the machine, maybe do 20,000 or 15,000. I just use 30,000 because it looks nice, nice and crisp. Preset max quality, profile on high again, psycho visual tuning, and two B frames again for that. So that's pretty much it for the Streamlabs OBS settings. Those are my Streamlabs OBS settings for 2020 for Fortnite just gaming in general live streaming it's gonna make your quality look really really good if you do use these settings and again my name's shig i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you guys do hit that sub button if you are new because i make videos like this all the time just to help you out with streaming and youtube and fortnite all kinds of stuff so hit that sub button hit that like button i'll see you guys in the next video and as always peace out